Hello friends, how's it going? I'm Essel and this is Hollow Knight. Last time, we got our first charm, the compass, and made our way to the station to unlock the Stagway, which is probably the most adorable metro system ever invented. This like old bearded stag is amazing. So, oh, sorry. I spaced out a reading. It says you should take the time to rest the town above. This place was once full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. I love the, the voices that, that they do for the characters in the uh, native language. I also really like that that animation is cute and signifies travel, but also doesn't take a long time. So fast traveling is going to be super quick as long as we know where to go. So another map will be much more meaningful and let us know exactly where we are. So we'll have to keep an eye out for the, uh, the Stagway stations as we uh, progress through the world. So we want to make our way to the boss, don't we? At least I think so, because I want to get some powers. An ASAP. Oh, holy, okay. Oh my. I was wondering about that. Oh god. Okay. We are a rip. Um wow. So our soul meter is broken. And we lost all of our geo. These are two very bad things. So I don't know if, it's, if we have to refill the soul meter first. Or if we can go collect our souls now. I mean, we can collect, collect the Geo, where we died. Oh! Oh, we have to defeat our, we have to defeat our old soul. Okay. Gotcha. So the shadow we leave behind... I was thinking we could pick it up Dark Souls style, but uh, not so much. Okay. Now things get very interesting. This game is suddenly very tough. So this guy hits like an absolute truck, so it's two damage per hit with an apparently super long health bar. And we have to fight our own shadow too, because we drop it in the area. If we want to get our, uh, our Geo back, that is. Okay, so juggling his head is going to be not a... Oh, God. We definitely want that back. Oh, man. Shockwaves, too? Is this a little cheesy? Sure. But, <laughs> I don't care. Oh, let's heal, though. Okay, we got so much Geo from this guy. But I am not doing well health-wise. So I think this was a hidden area. I don't know if we were supposed to unlock this this way. Yeah, let's not die. That would be great. Okay, so be like a dash. Like a sideways horizontal dash or charge. I'll have to come back up here to unlock that stuff. So it should be noted that that wasn't the boss. There's like a boss chamber to the left here. Um, ow. <laughs> we'll have to see how this goes then. If that guy was the pre-boss fight. Oh boy. Things got quiet. Okay, ready yourselves for a potential boss. Also, there's like a great... See those little spikes? This is what I thought was a great. Hearing some very foreboding guitar music, so. Oh. Also, there goes my theory about it being easy to dodge because we got time to adjust. <laughs> Still a little uh, a little tricky. 
Oh, oh. Um. Hello, the false knight. Okay, one, one, one damage is fine. And we can heal by doing a damage. Remember that. You gather soul. Let me. Uh, at least we. I thought we did. Maybe not. So healing takes time. Nice. Oh. What? Um, what? What is happening? What? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Yes, that was a bold heal. I'm glad we did that. Okay, because that was uh, that was that was not a free heal, but I lucked out during the meteor attack there. What is up with this guy? Oh damn! Okay, I ran right into that. No. All right, P.S. So, do we spawn on the bench? Oh my god. That is a bit of a walk. It's not a huge walk, but oh man. We will certainly have to walk though. The good news is we, take, we can take that upper path over the large bug in this room. Towards the false knight. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, nice. Should for sure make sure we're at full health and have a little bit of soul on us too. Okay. Now this gets interesting. This game is really sweet. I'm gonna say Dark Soulsy because there's no way to describe this. I mean, you know, we got we got a giant boss here with the title that comes up on the bottom of the screen. There's a soul collection feature. It's not a bad thing. Dark Souls is one of my favorite games of all time. And FromSoft games are currently, like, lining my top five. Um, but... Wow. It's so good. Oh, rip shockwave. The good news is this guy's pretty easy to dodge overall. <laughs> I kind of love this, even though it's so weird. <laughs> I love that he suddenly gets more personality in phase two. So it does look like that healing is pretty free, actually. If we're in the corner during the meteor attack, it looks like we're pretty safe. Can't jump over that. Nice. So those attacks do give us soul. Gotta watch out for any new phase three attacks. Ow. <laughs> it's like more meteors overall. The music is so good, too. Okay, this is not good. No. Oh, yeah, way more meteors. Oh, okay, hold up. We got this. I think we got this. No! No. Not like this. Not like this. Come on. I dodged right into it again. Oh, you're so close. So close. Oh man, this guy. I like this fight a lot. Coming up close on time, but let's do one more approach. I think we can fight if we can kill him on this run. Um, so I, I don't want to keep the ten minute mark like a, a hard limit. So we're gonna do make sure that like that like the episode ends at a spot that makes sense, more than keeping to the hard limit for now. 
I don't want to give you guys a 9 minute 40 second episode. That's, that's ridiculous. So, if you don't mind, go a little long today. I love this game so far, and I'm really excited to get more movement. I think this game will really shine once we have the ability to, like, do more stuff. I mean, obviously right now I'm just, like, hankering for a dodge roll. Oops, hold on, what is this? I'll, I'll be right. I was just messing around with buttons. Um, I'm hankering for a dodge roll for sure. But, uh, hopefully, if not a dodge roll, more jumps and stuff. Because this guy has this, has the feeling of a Dark Souls fight with, like, the wide hammer swings. Very, a little bit like smell, actually. I really like the creepy music whenever we have to get our souls back. Or our soul back. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that comes out thematically, because that seems to be, like, a really important part of our character. Oh, Titan Souls is has a couple tracks in it for boss music that sound a lot like this track. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. It's a great style. Let's heal up real quick. Oh, I ran right into that. Might be worth it, though. We got a lot of hits in there. There we go. Seems worth it to, like, break quickly. Then we can, we can take a second to heal while his helmet's breaking. And then, uh, have full soul for phase three. This is not worth it to stay in here, though. <laughs> Too dangerous when he's, uh, swinging like that. Oh, I do that so often. I jump away from the, uh, from the hammer attack, or the mace attack, and right into the shockwave. <laughs> Oh, no. Heal real quick, hopefully. Oh, focus takes a long time. Like, a long time. And it wastes our- oh, it wastes our soul. Oh, man. Oh, not done yet. Oh, man. I thought we were out of the woods. Oh! <gasps> Did he mace himself? R.I.P. the False Knight. The City Crest. Oh, it's like a cute little slug thing. Let's see, I, I thought I saw a chest over here. I want, I want to see our reward real quick and then we'll end the episode. So much Geo! Oh man, we'll have to go back to uh, Dirt Town. Dirt Mouth, sorry, to, to spend all that. And the City Crest, which is... Um, stone slab bearing the crest of the Hellenist capital city. It has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Okay. So next time, we'll be looking for something to do with that. But until then, of course, folks, I'll be back next time. But until then, enjoy yourselves. And peace out.